Hello to you all. Today I would like to introduce the competencies framework in Moodle. I would like to show you how it works, how you can make some learning plans, how you can link competencies to each course, how students and teachers can see the competencies and the level of achievement, and some report. Okay, all this in less than five minutes, so let's go. Here is a normal Moodle. You see, it looks like this. If yours doesn't, maybe you can ask your administration uh, to do something about it. Let's go. When you go on the side in the administration, you've got somewhere inside administration down there, takes a little while to, to load, you have the competencies. Here they are. So inside, you've got lots of things. I would like us to start by the competency framework, which is where you can put all the competencies. So here they are. I've created some. And what's great about the latest version of Moodle is that you can download some already made. Uh, I've downloaded some about technology education, but you've got lots of literature, arts and languages, which are already done, uh, usually sponsored by government. So I can't remember if those are from the UK or Australia. Australia. You know that Moodle is made by Australia. So how it looks like. Let me take an example from Word, which is the one I know. And here you are. You've got some uh, possibility to create lots of things here. So you have a main topic. You can add some practices, which is in French, I think, habileté. And inside you can create some competencies. And you can do lots of stuff, add new things, add descriptions and everything. So it's quite easy. Now, when you have created all this, what you can do is go again over there in the competencies and you can try what is learning plans. So learning plans is what you want people to learn. That's, for example, you can create for corporate if you have different clients, if you are a private uh, trainer, or you can do by diploma, certifications, or by level, for example, first year. And you can, for each of them, add stuff about it. So let's do, let's walk over there. Here, for example, you can add from learning plan um, to learning plan from a framework. So look, it's exactly what I've showed you. You can select some uh, uh, performances, uh, competencies. And here, if you want more of them, you can just press control to uh, select more and you can add them. What's great about this is that as soon as you create your plan, you can see which courses use those competencies. I'm going to show you that just afterward. This way, you have some uh, alert telling you, oh, you want this competency to be taught to the students, but be beware, no classes yet uses that. So then you have to create them. And that's what I'm going to show you with a teacher um, view of the site. Just a second. Here is a Josephine interface of the website. I'm sorry, I kept the name of my class in French, but really, you are going to understand it. When you go into the course, you have lots of stuff. And what you can do is check for each activity what you have done. So for example, let's see if you edit the settings of one of the the um, activity. Here, I think it's an assignment. Yes, it is. You can go at the bottom and you can link to this assignment some of the competencies. So for example, if you want more, you can have, uh, I don't know here, yes, you can have a uh, goal, seek value, you can have a uh, non-violent communication or whatever. Uh, that's what I've created. And you've got everything in there. And what you can do, that's the assignment. You can go in the class and you can choose inside the class. So we are going to have some uh, lots of class over there. I'm going to try and get it. Yes, yes, you are here. You have the competencies that are linked to the class. And here 
you can check for each of the class competency. Once again, you can add some here. You know to which assignment or activity they are linked. And you've got something telling you what are the competencies the less uh, achieved in your class. So I'm sorry, that's a test. You don't have so much over there. And that's how you can do. Um, what else? If you want to grade the pupils, the students, you can do it and you can add the competency. Let's see what the students see now. Here we are. This is Leila, which is a student. And what uh, can she see when she arrives on her dashboard in Moodle? First, she has the learning plans that were created for her. So let's see that. She clicks where uh, the learning plan is and she can see all the competencies and if the teacher said that she was competent in for example pivot tables in excel then she can see it and she can monitor the way she's uh, growing up and achieving the training with you well that's the preview of all you can do in moodle with competencies i hope you will try those new tools and of course don't forget to subscribe to my channel that's all for today bye bye